Iowa State came out of spring practice with more depth on a defense that must replace six starters. The offense returns nine starters, but one question that wasn't answered in spring practice was the starting quarterback. Senior Steele Jantz and sophomore Jared Barnett, who shared the position last season, will go into preseason drills battling to become the starter. Um, I, I think Jared Barnett really uh, controls the other 10 guys when he's on the field. I think Steele Jantz has the ability to make more uh, plays uh, because of his uh, capability and then the ability to imp improvise on the run. And I think all those things show with, with both those guys. Um, our football team recognizes the competition. I think everybody sees it as something that's healthy. And, and we'll look forward to August and, and uh, what that will provide for us. Whoever winds up a quarterback needs to be consistent. Iowa State completed just over 50% of its passes last season. And for the spread offense to be effective, that percentage needs to be closer to 60%. The Cyclones' running game should be solid with juniors James White and Jeff Woody, a productive duo. Leading receiver Darius Reynolds is gone, but Josh Lenz is a steady possession receiver, while Aaron Horn was last season's Big 12 Offensive Newcomer of the Year. Rhodes believes that he has 10 reliable players on the defensive front. The defense will again be anchored by the senior linebacking duo of A.J. Klein and Jake Knott. Klein was the Big 12's co-defensive player of the year last season. Overall, Rhodes thinks he has the best defensive depth in his four seasons in Ames. Iowa State season opener is September 1st against Tulsa, and the Cyclones' first Big 12 game is September 29th against Texas Tech. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.